What's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions. <laughs> Welcome back to Smitty Reacts. And before I get into this video, first of all, I have to give you a Smitty update. You know what I'm saying? Just to, so you guys can check in with me. Um, it has been a long time since I've dropped any kind of um, long form content. Uh, I've dropped a couple of shorts here and there. Um, I recently uploaded uploaded some videos from the Yo-Yo Ka concert, the, the concert I was so lucky to be able to get to and attend um, and meet them. Uh, Yo-Yo Ka, her family, um, they were all beautiful and amazing. And, and thank you. Thanks for everybody that um, got to watch those videos and such um, that is a fan of hers. And please continue to support her page, her channel, and all that stuff. And they, they are definitely deserving of which... Um, and I know she's got more live stuff, and I definitely have more Yo-Yo Ka reactions coming soon. Uh, but before I wanted to get into that, though, I did want to recognize Mr. Bulmer, uh, speaking of Yo-Yo Ka, who recommended that I check out this song. Um, I've got it queued up here in front of me. It's uh, Volf. Is it Volf Peck? The name of the song being Corey Wong. Never heard of the song before. Um, he asked in the comments, have I, ever, have I heard of them? I was like, no. And he's like, well, Yo-Yo Ka has a cover of them, and that's cool. But I want to check out the original one before I check out Yo-Yo Yo Ka's version. <laughs> so that's what I'm here uh, to kind of get into. Um, but also, too, just like, again, just a real quick thing about myself recently. Um, I haven't uploaded a video in like, I don't know, three months or so, almost four months. And it's honestly just to kind of like step away from YouTube, work on some personal stuff on my end. And I'm also we kind of focus out here on work a little bit, we focus on career change, um, some other things as well, um, which kind of leads me to where I'm at right now. And for those of you who have been kind of following the channel for a long time, you'll realize this is not my normal situation behind me. Um, I'm in California at the moment um, working on some some work things. Um, I'll be out here for um, the next few months or so. Well, actually, till July. Um, so I figure while I'm out here, I take a moment to reconnect to my YouTube family um, since I have some downtime between work and such. So you know what? I'm going to take advantage of the time out here, the change of scenery, the mountain views, all that good stuff. And, and and jump back into this YouTube thing. So before I hit start, man, of course, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're about to get in, get into some some good stuff here. Also, I apologize for the audio. Um, I don't own this space, so I can't really audio proof it the way I normally would or, or soundproof it the way I want to. Um, I might find some ways to kind of adjust the acoustics. So I'm looking for feedback. Um, please give me some feedback on the audio if it's too much, too too little. You know what I'm saying? If you get a lot of feedback and stuff. Um, let me know. I'm not using my normal microphone. I kind of have a little ad, ad hoc travel system set up. At any rate, it, you know, I'm working on it. <laughs> so, all right, man, let me go ahead and start on this thing. This is Wolf Peck, Corey Wong. Let's go. Fourth position. Seven All right. Okay. Theo brings in the bag beat. <laughs> it's got the script on the side of the video. All right. Pause. Hey. <laughs> I don't want to read the side script and just, you know, have this have the video do my reaction for me, but so far it's doing a good job, Joe and Woody in there. Thank you, Joe and Woody. You know, thanks for whoever put this together for letting me know. I've never heard of these guys before. N never have. So this is great. Let's get it. Great introduction. Okay. Switch fan to Joe's bass pill. <laughs> Let's go. Uh huh. Oh, okay. 
Bass feel is nice though. Yeah, smiles a common reaction to a great bass feel. <laughs> okay. I definitely agree. <laughs> Speak on it. Cheer and clap. Hey, this voice is good. Oh. Pause here for a moment. Yo, this is really giving some Prince Prince vibes, you know what I'm saying? Like that type of Jimmy Jam, Jimmy Timmy Lewis type Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis type vibe. Um, but definitely getting a lot of heavy funk going on here, man. It's definitely a funky beat. You know, like, yeah, these guys are really doing it, man. This is Volpec? Vol Volpec? Help me with the pronunciation. Please, Lord, please help me, boy. But, yo, these guys are killing it. Joe Woody Theo. Joe Woody Theo. Gotcha. Let's get it. Uh, let's go, let's go. The whirly. Is the effect I got it. <laughs> I like that, man. That's cool, man. Cool little funky beat. That's good. right there i appreciate that like i said low volume and I, i'm gonna say this you know with love <laughs> you know if you're in a smaller venue and you got a lot of people around you and people are talking and chatting and stuff like that you know you don't necessarily have to have your volume turned all the way up I, i've been to some intimate venues before and sometimes they feel like they're trying to blow out you know or an arena or a stadium and have it all the way up and i, I appreciate that you know because you want people to be involved and stuff like that but at the same time it's like Having a good sound engineer and somebody on your on your team that really understands audio balancing and how not to blow out the crowd, you know, but still being able to hear yourself, or at least having a good um, in-air monitors or floor monitors so you can still hear yourself while you're performing it is critical, <laughs> in my opinion, to, in, in order for everybody to have a good time. You know, the performers feel good because they can hear themselves and they can fill out things and so forth. And then the audience also can participate because they're not losing their hearing in the, in the process of all this, you know. Especially like in a smaller venue, like, you know, small club or, you know, your local like theater, something like that. So at any rate, though, these guys did a good job. They, I, I definitely appreciate, you know, what, what both pack has brought here to the table. Corey Wong, Corey Wong, the name of the song, you know, I, I definitely like it. So again, thank you. Uh, who, was that? who was that again? Let me check my notes here. Y'all getting old. I got to check my notes. <laughs> Mr. Bulmer, G. Bulmer anyway. Thank you, my friend. Thanks for uh, the suggestion and such. And, and now that I've gotten that song out of the way, now I can comfortably go and check out the Yaya Ka cover, which I definitely will. <laughs>
Should I do that in this video, y'all? Should I? Yeah, why not? It's been a while. I owe you guys. I know I'm behind. Let's go ahead. Yo, yo. Let's go. Yo, yo, Ka. Cover of Corey Wong by the group we just watched a minute ago. Let's get it. Hey. Good to see you again. Don't don't hide. <laughs> Right? Right? Let the crowd react. Let the crowd react. Pause right here. Yo, like, I I really like seeing this. Like, seeing her just have a good time on the drums, you know, kind of kind of playing it up for the, for the imaginary crowd as it were. And um, I will say this. Like, one thing I appreciated from the show that I, that I got to see her do is, like, you can definitely tell that she's, they're developing her to be a good front person. Like, get out in front of the crowd, talk, and engage, interact. Um, have her talk more and stuff like that. And I think it's honestly just to kind of have her get more comfortable in front of a live audience and a big crowd, you know, which, you know, you can be as talented as you want to be, but until you get comfortable, you know, that'll really take you from being a good musician to a good entertainer, you know? And I think that's the, the, the development that I'm seeing with Yo-Yo Ka's family and the people behind her and stuff is they're grooming her to become a good entertainer and somebody that can really get out and talk. And right now, like, she's, she's really doing a good job learning those skills and acquiring that, along with, you know, the musicality that goes behind it. Like, she's at school, um, I believe, in Oakland at the moment. Uh, I think it's Oakland. Somewhere in the Bay Area. <laughs> and then they're going to L.A. after that, and then they're going back to Japan after that, and then they're coming back over here after that. Like, you know, she's going to be moving around doing a lot of things. But I, I just appreciate the fact, you know, that I, I can see – what her team has been doing for her and her community. Her community is amazing here, you know, in the U.S. and back home. So anyway, stop gushing on Yo-Yo. I want to hear the rest of it. Let me go back a little bit. Let's go. Have fun, girl. Right. Right? <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, hit him with that double pedal. Let's go. Good job, yo, yo, guy. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank the mascots. Good job. <laughs> oh, man. That was great. All right, all right, all right, everybody. That was Volpec doing Corey Wong. Followed by Yoyoka covering Wolfpack doing Corey Wong. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh man, that was a great performance by Yoyoka, great performance by Wolfpack. Man, they really did their thing and it was really fun, entertaining, and funky. A little upbeat kind of funk, you know, nothing too scary, you know, to jump into and something like that. that you know, it's one of those kind of songs you can have in the background, not have to worry about anybody really having any major issues, hopefully. You know, because some songs you put on, you're like, man, do I got the edited version of this song? Can I play it around my mother? You know, something like that. This, you don't have to worry about. I appreciate that. So, <laughs> all right, y'all. Hey, my name is Marvin. This is Smitty Reacts, live from California. Uh, man, it's been a, a crazy last few months, but I'm, I'm glad to be back with you guys, man. And hopefully, you're going to be able to drop more videos more consistently. Um, right now I am kind of working around my work schedule. I'm learning a lot. I'm going through training right now. There's a lot of things going on with that. So I'm going to really going to try to take this as I can. Um, at the moment, my goal is to at least drop a video once a week, um, if not more, or try to record multiple videos, get them uploaded and like just have maybe once, once a day. Like, I'm not even sure what my schedule is going to be. It's going to be very inconsistent just to let you guys know, <laughs> but they will be coming. So just to let you guys know that hopefully. Um, worst case scenario, at least on the weekend, like I I'm figuring it out. Like I said, it depends on how I feel like after my brain being like shoveled all kinds of information throughout the day, I might get home and just be like, nope, <laughs> not today, you know, but at the same time, I definitely would be more consistent than one video every three months. Just saying. So, all right, y'all. Hey, my name is Marvin. This is Smitty Reacts and I'm gonna get out of here. So please, until the next video, take care of yourself. Be kind to one another. And if you guys can do that, I will definitely catch you in the next video. All right? All right. Peace.